Right, so I'm just going to show you in a second one variation of the triangle bird trap, also known as triangle bird snare. I've also heard people call it the coat hanger bird trap. Um, a couple of variations to it, and one is you make your triangle when the bird lands on the bottom stick the bottom stick falls away now the other variation is the trap the bottom bit the perch part doesn't fall away and the bird just reaches through to some bait on the stick and then it gets its head caught in the noose well I'm going to show you the one now I'm going to show you the one um, when the bottom doesn't fall away and later on I'll show you the other version now the video I made quite a small one so that would only potentially catch small birds whereas what you'd want to do is you want to scale it up or scale it down to whatever your intended species was um, and also this is another one I've made like a portable ready-made one and we'll do a video about that in a minute Uh, so we'll go to the woods in a second and show you that. Just wanted to say, always remember that the traps I show are purely for survival situations, you know. Not just going around trapping birds and stuff just for the sake of it. Purely for survival situations. Right, so we'll go to the woods and then we'll do that bit. Cut a fork and then a notch there and a notch there.
one is going to be your bait stick. So that's pretty much the trap done. <clears throat> so the bait for now I've just put a bit of this bit of fungus, a bit of mushroom on it. And the bird will instinctively land on this. Hopefully it should come from this side. Reach through to get the the bait and end up being snared. Probably be better to put nuts or berries or whatever on there. I 
I suppose you could shift this round wherever you wanted it to be. 